What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. Today, I wanna to share with you a brand new battery that I picked up that I can't wait to check out. It's the battery which I'm asking the question of, is it too good to be true? And that's the Thunder Power 100C 1100 milliamp hour 6S battery. All right, so taking a look at this battery, this thing just, it looks absolutely tiny for what I'm used to with 6S batteries. It is only 1100 milliamps. Um, that is relatively low by today's standards with 6S packs. Most people are running 1250 like the Pyrodrome packs or even 1300 like the Tattoo packs or the AC packs. And what's happening is most of those are end up being about 218 up to 230 grams in weight. And it's really adding a lot of weight to our setups. On the lighter side, you might see things like the Infinity 1150 packs that I took a look at before. Those were weighing about 190 grams or even the light Pyrodrome pack 1250s, which weigh about 206 grams. So for a lightweight efficient pack, I think those Pyrodromes actually work really well. Um, they're not the most durable packs, but they definitely stand up um, on the track perform pretty well. Now, right now, my absolute favorite battery that I currently fly whenever I have a race that I need to win is the Tattoo 1300 milliamp hour 6S pack, 75C. This thing has been an absolute amazing performer for me. If you look back at all my fastest runs from International Open, they were all running with this particular pack. In fact, what I would say is that I started out flying with the Pyrodrome 1250 packs, but I started dropping cells that very first day. I think I had two drop a cell on me and it got to the point where I didn't trust pushing them around a track and I was pushing those things hard. In fact, you'd even see some rounds where I was flying this particular pack, 1300 HV charged. I was pulling 1550 milliamp hours out of this pack, completely spending this pack. It just performed great. I had a number of people who came up to me at International Open and they said, how are you going all out, full out for four laps on this track? I'm done after three or I can't complete that fourth lap, at least not at the same speed. And I told them, these batteries are really a big part of it. These batteries allowed me to pull that off and that was a big part of it. So why am I so excited about these adrenaline packs, right? What is it about the Thunder Power that really has me appeal? Well, so what I can say is that prior to International Open, I was primarily flying this quad here. This quad flies absolutely amazing. I love the rigidity of it. I love the way it feels in the turns but it comes in weighing about 310 grams. This is with 2207 motors. Um, my basic setup that was running for months, this is the same setup I was flying when I was flying at Flight Fest. So it performed really well there, but what I noticed is I wanted to try out the Hyperlite 2205 motors. I put those onto a build and I took it out to fly, you know, just for fun to see how they performed. And it was a really interesting experience. I actually felt like it was a lot slower. I'm like, wow, this is, it feels underpowered. Yeah, it feels lighter and kind of, you know, the way it curves is really nice. The way it turns is really nice, but it just, it feels slow. And what I did is I came home and I watched the DVR of flying this quad here versus my new quad that had the 2205 motors on it. And the lap times weren't close. For that particular simple track, I was putting it in a good, you know, half second faster laps with this thing, even though it felt slower. So by feeling slower, cause it had less top end, I noticed that my lines get a little bit more consistent. Plus I was able to keep things a lot tighter being so much lighter around the track. It ended up in lower lap times and let's face it, lower lap times is all I really care about. So anyway, this particular build here weighs in at 257 grams of these 2205 motors versus what I was flying before weighing at 310 grams. So even though I was flying with the same battery, that savings of about 50 grams or 53 grams felt absolutely amazing to me on the racetrack. So then it had me thinking, because it weighs less, it should be more efficient. It should use less amps around the track. Now, a lot of people think that what's happening is the downforce, you know, you're gonna have 40 grams less, so the downforce will be a little bit less, so it saves weight there, but I don't think that's where the efficiency comes from in the lighter quads. See, as we're flying, we're changing direction a lot. So as we're going fast this way, as we turn and then put direction this way, we have to stop all that momentum that was going one way. So as we're going around the track, that's 50 grams less contributing to our momentum. We turn, we come back this way, we turn again. It's that 50 grams keeps being less and less and less momentum all around the track. That's how it does the turns easier and that should be saving our amps as we go. So two things, one, with less amps being pulled around the track, I in theory should need fewer milliamp hours in order to fly. 
take that one step further and get a pack which is even lighter, I should use even less milliamp hours around the track. So my theory is what's the lightest pack I can get that's going to perform at the level I need? Put that with this combo, have something super light that's extremely fast because it doesn't push as much weight, but also turns really well, turns super tight, and just has that efficiency I need. And that is my hope for the Thunder Power Adrenaline 100C 1100 milliamp hour packs. If these things live up to the way that they're advertised, these things will be absolutely amazing, true lifesavers, the flat out best pack you can buy. But I have my doubts. I mean, just everything I see about these screams, too good to be true, too good to be true, too good to be true. I remember when they first were announced and they first were released, I looked at it and I was about to hit that buy button. They're a little bit pricey as far as batteries go. I think they cost $44. But if they perform at the level they claim, they'd be well worth that $44. But still, I said, you know what? That's too good. They can't be that good. But a recent event happened, which a lot of you guys are probably aware of, and that's Captain Vanover took to the regional qualifier track, put through eight laps. Not only did he do eight laps on the regional qualifier track, he did it four seconds faster than anyone else. Four seconds faster than McGap, who absolutely slayed that track just one week earlier. What battery was he flying? This battery right here. The Adrenaline Series Thunder Power 100C 1100 milliamp hour pack. Not only did he finish that, but he had a little bit extra to a little flip at that end versus when you're watching with uh, the Chief when he did his. He cracked at that finish line. He had nothing left on his 1250 milliamp hour pack. So that there, the fact that it's even possible to fly eight laps on a regional qualifier using, 12, um, using 2207 motor said, you know what? It's at least worth a shot. Let's pick up a few of them. Let's put them to the test. Let's see how they work on the racetrack and hopefully they pull through and they work well for me. Now, if these things work as well as they claim, this is what I'll be flying at the regional final in Chicago, especially when we get to first to three laps. I can't wait to get these things checked out. Now, the number one spec that I looked at when I said these things gotta be too good to be true is the weight. On the page when you go to buy these things, they're listed at 179 grams. If you compare that to my current favorite battery, the Tattoo 1300, this thing weighs in at 220 grams. That's a huge difference. That's over 40 grams difference. So what did I do? I took this bad boy, threw it on the, on the scale. It weighed in at just 178 grams. So that's over a 40 gram savings. Combined with a quad that's saving over 40 grams over my prior one, that combination compared to what I'm used to is almost a 100 gram difference. I think it comes up to 85 grams. So an 85 gram savings on this quad should feel amazing around the track. I can't wait to get it outside. I can't wait to get it around the track and compare the two and how they fly. Again, I just keep asking myself, is it too good to be true? Well, I can't wait to find out and I can't wait to share that with you. Anyway, let's get her out flying. Let's try it on the track and uh, we'll see how she does. All right, guys, we're out here at the field flying the same track that we did last time uh, when we were checking out those new motors, those Brother Hobby 2207-1750KV motors. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But anyway, today, the real story that we want to check out, the real story that we want to talk about is the Thunder Power 100C 1100 milliamp hour batteries. Does it live up to my expectations? Is it really too good to be true or are these things legit? Let's go give it a try. The first thing I want to do is just go fly a standard amount of milliamps, pull out of that pack and uh, see where I land at. See, am I roughly somewhere around the capacity that I expect? So I want to fly about 900 milliamps, 800 milliamps, land, charge it back up, make sure that's what I get and let's check it out.
right, guys, on the first pack, you know, I didn't take it easy on that pack. I definitely pushed it pretty hard, but I took it easier than I've been taking it uh, the rest of the day here so far. So what I'd say is I took about 955 out of that pack is what the OSD was reporting. My cells were about 367 per cell when I put it back on the charger. Going to charge it up. Hopefully, I see about 955. Um, if that goes down to about 37, probably down to 36, that tell me probably about 1050 might be a realistic quantity for that, which actually is really, really good. Be better than I was getting out of those Infinity packs. And this is a lighter pack. I can say first impression when I did give it throttle, it did respond well I could definitely feel it was lighter than my tattoo packs that I'm usually flying out here with that same exact quad so first impressions are actually pretty good this may be a really good option for those sprinting races so if you're in a bracket doing first to three minute and 30 kind of race I think this may be my go-to pack but I got a few more of those let's put them on the track make sure they keep performing well make sure that the first impressions match up with my expectations let's do it <laughs> All right, guys, just flew this pack right here, right through that quad. Um, came down about 950 milliamps drawn, just below two minutes. So that's pretty actually good. With an HV charge, I think it might actually last me a good two minutes. This is not the most sophisticated track, but I am pushing things pretty hard. There's quite a lot of full throttle as I'm going around this track. Um, I am still struggling around that corkscrew with this particular quad, the 2205 motors. It's a 257 gram quad with a super light battery. You notice if you look at it, absolutely no puff. It's warm but it's not overly hot. It's no hotter than I'm used to with my other pack. So, so far it's actually performing really well. I think, I think this is actually doing a lot better than the Infinity pack that I tested before. Even though this is a good 10 grams lighter, it seems like it might actually have more capacity for me. Now I know others with the Infinity packs, they had better luck, it lasted longer, but man, this thing's performing really, really well. I really like this thing for my sprint pack. Um, it just, I noticed the weight difference. It controls just a little bit better. That's what I wanted with this. So to me, it's delivering on what I wanted. I'm super pumped. Um, I might have to pick up a few more of these and have dedicated racing sprint packs because so far I really like it. Now on Sunday, I'm going to take this thing out to Detroit. We're running a big open track where it's kind of like the regional finals track again. And I'm going to really push that thing hard there. I'm curious to see if this will last a two minute race. I'm not entirely sure, but I know it'll work well in brackets. So anyway, we're about to lose the sun. I'm just going to grab a few runs with these packs before I'm done. But uh, yeah, I'm going to say these packs are winners, at least so far. I'll bring you another follow up later after the Detroit run to let you know how they're doing. But I think these things are going to be a winner for me. And I wanted to share that with you. I'm super excited. Hopefully you're excited if you tried them. They're a little bit expensive at $44, but you know what? I think I'm getting my money's worth. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to catch you all next time. And as always, peace.